Hello dear students, welcome to our today's class. Um, today I'm going to talk about the another representing form of the control systems which is called signal flow graph model. As you learned during uh, this course up to now, you saw that to represent a control system to actually to represent the relationships of component of a system we together we use the block diagram for to showing the uh, linear time invariant system and also to calculate the transfer function of such system we use the block diagram and with simplifying the uh, block diagram of a, a complex system we could find the transfer function for that system but sometimes or I can say that most of the times simplifying the complex block diagram uh, is too difficult for this reason we prefer to uh, actually have an alternative model for determining the uh, interrelationships between the component of a system. This alter alternative method, which uh, has developed by Mason and is based on a representation of the system by line segments, is called signal flow graph. Okay, signal flow graph, as you see here. This is our signal uh, flow graph, which is uh, obtained from the, uh, our linear time invariant LTI system. What is the signal flow graph? Actually, we can say that a signal flow graph is a diagram consisting of nodes that are connected by several directed brains. Okay, these are our nodes. I will talk about the uh, terminologies of signal flow graph, uh, which is the connected by several directed brains and is a graphical representation of a set of linear relations okay for example this is our sing, uh, signal flow graph with input and output and also some feedbacks okay let's talk about some terminologies first one is node what's node we said that the input and output points or junctions are called nodes like that this one this one and other nodes are called actually the circles as you see here all of them uh, are our nodes of sing signal flow graph okay the second one is branch what's the branch the nodes are connected by line segments called branch okay this is branch this is also another branch and so on this is a branch branch and branch okay we can say that a signal can transmit through a branch a signal can transmit th through the branch only it's so important please notice to these sentences only in the direction of the arrow okay in this direction in this direction and for this branch the signal will transmit through this direction actually in at this branch the signal cannot transmit from this point up to the this point because the direction of this branch is from this point to this point is from 
uh, right hand side of uh, our figure up to the left hand side of the figure okay so nodes brains and direction of a signal flow graph another term is in source or input node we say that an input node is a node that has only outgoing brains this is our source or input node has only outgoing brains okay an output node or sync an output node is a node that has only incoming branch okay interestingly that the node that has only incoming branch is called sync okay source sync input node output node A path. What is the path in the signal flow graph? A path is a branch or a continuous sequence of branches. A path is a branch or a continuous sequence of branch. Please notice to these phrases. Continuous sequence of branches that can be traversed from one signal or one node to another signal or another node. For example, this is a path, a continuous sequence of branches, which uh, traverse from one node to another node. What is the loop? A loop is a closed path that originates and terminates on the same node with no node being met twice along the path. This is a loop, okay? As you see here, no node being met twice along this path. Okay, we say that two loops are non-touching if they do not have a common node. If two loops have not any common node, we say that these two loops are non-touching together. Suppose that here is our first loop and this is our the second loop as you see here these two loops are non-touching why because they don't have any common any common node with together okay in this form we can say that these two loops are non-touching okay what is the forward pass Actually, I talked about the forward pass in the previous class. The forward pass is a path that starts at an input node and ends at an output node and along which no node is traversed more than once. Okay? No node is traversed more than once. For example, this pass is a forward pass. It starts with input node up to the output node, okay? And all of nodes through this pass have to be traversed one time. Okay, pass gain. We said that the product of the branch gains, okay, these are the gain of each branch. For example, the gain of this branch is 1. The gain of this branch is k1. The gain of this branch is minus 1 and so on, okay. 
The product of the branch gains encountered in tra uh, traversing a path is called the path gain. Okay? So 1 times 1 divided by s times k1 times 1 times k2 divided by s is the path gain of this path. Actually, the gain of uh, forward pass. As I said here, the forward pass gain is the pass gain of a forward pass with multiplying or the product of gain of each branch through this path is called the gain of forward pass. Okay? Now, in a signal flow graph, suppose that we have a value well, actually, we have a node which um, assigned a variable to this node. Okay, so we would like to calculate or find the value of this variable. How can we find the value of this variable using signal flow graph? We can say that. The value of the of each variable, which is assigned to a, a node in signal flow graph, is equal to sum of all the signals entering to the node. Okay, sum of all the signals entering to the node. Okay, only the signal the signals entering to that node. So we can write that y1 is equal to a21, the gain, times the value of this variable. a21 times y2 plus, we said that, sum of all signals entering the node. All signals. Okay, the first one is this signal, the second one is this signal, A31 times Y3 plus A41 times Y4 and the last one is A51 times Y5. So we could find the value of this node using this equation. Similarly, for another uh, node like that, let's write uh, the value of or calculate the value of uh, y6. For example, this one. We have only one signal entering to this node, so we can write that y6 is equal to a16 times y1. Similarly, for y7, in the same form, and also for a y8, we can say that a18 times y1. Okay? So, interestingly, we could find the y1 from here with substituting these terms into, uh, instead of y1 in this equation, in, at this equation, and also at this equation, we can calculate the value of each variables using signal flow graph. This is the signal flow graph algebra. Okay, suppose that we have three different brands, okay, in our SFG, okay, which all of these three signals start with Y1 node and ends in Y2. Okay? All of these brains are in the same direction. All of these brains are in the same direction. Okay? 
So we can say that these three brains are parallel with together. So we can draw one signal or one branch instead of these three brains and add the gain of these three brains with together and write here. So we can say that instead of these three brains we can draw one branch and add the gain of these three branches with together A plus B plus 3 plus C sorry okay if we have some brains connected in cascade form okay connected in cascade form with gain in each signal or branch again we can draw a one branch and multiply the gain value of each branch with together a12 times a23 times a34 okay the gain of these three branch now we learned about the block diagram and we saw that how could we calculate and find the transfer function of each system using block diagram. Okay, as you see here, we said that uh, in this case, if we have only one block with the transfer function of gs, we can say that y of s divided by u of s is equal to g of s. And also this is a a parallel feedback actually and this is a closed loop system and uh, we learned that how could we calculate the transfer function for a closed loop system now I'm going to show you there is a relation between the block diagram and signal flow graph in this case, we can replace this signal flow graph or signal flow diagram instead of the, this block diagram with input, output and g of s as a gain of this branch. This is the same, this g of s, okay? In the parallel form, again, we will have u of s here, <coughs> g1 and g2 and y of s, okay? So we can use this signal flow graph instead of this block diagram. Again, for a closed loop system, we can uh, draw the signal flow graph like that. R of S with gain 1, G of S, and in the feedback, we will have a negative feedback, negative feedback, so we have to write minus H of S, and here, here we will have a 1 as a gain of the output, okay? Now, why we did actually replace the block diagram with the signal flow graph? Because using signal flow graph, we can calculate the transfer function of each system using Mason formula. Actually, Mason uh, produced a formula. Using this formula, we can find the transfer function of uh, each system. Let's talk about the Mason formula. In this formula, 
we said that suppose we have n forward path okay and k loops so the gain between the input node and output node is given by this formula okay what is this delta or actually let's talk about first of all n n is total number of forward path between the input node and output node okay n is total number of forward paths and p k here is the gain of the case forward pass the gain of case forward pass I've talked about the gain of forward pass and the meaning of the forward pass also in the previous slides this delta is determinant of the system we will see that how uh, can we calculate this determinant and delta k is determinant of the case forward path okay let's talk about these phrases to calculating the determinant of system we can use this formula let's explain what is the ln ln we said that ln is sum of all different loop gains sum of all different loop gains in a signal flow graph and ln and lm sum of the gain products of all combinations of two non-touching loops okay if we have two non-touching loops in our signal flow graph with multiplying these two the gain of these two uh, loops and add with together we can find these terms of our actually uh, equation okay and this one also is sum of the gain products of all combinations of three non-touching loops if we have three non-touching loops in our uh, SFG we have to multiply the gain of all of these loops with together and add and write here with minus sign here with positive sign okay so what about delta k delta k is the k is the delta this is the same formula that part of the sfg that is down touching with the case forward pass actually First of all, we determine the forward pass, the case forward pass. Okay. The next section of the for of the uh, signal flow graph. Uh, for the next section of the signal flow graph, we calculate this delta. So this is called delta k let's explain the mason formula in this example actually at this example uh, you will see that how can we calculate these terms delta pk delta k and so on okay this is a block diagram of a complex system first of all for using the mason flow uh, mason formula we have to uh, replace this block diagram with a signal flow graph okay how can we do that easily here we have our office okay we draw a node as a source of a system g1 
G2, G5, this note, G2, H2, please notice the direction of brains actually. The direction of signals are so important in signal flow graph. Okay, G3, H3, G4, and sync. Okay, output of the system. Again, start from here, G5, G6, H6, G7, H7, G8, and we reach to the sync. Okay? So using block diagram, we could draw the signal flow graph of a system. Okay? Now, using this graph, we can calculate the transfer function for this system. First of all, we need to find the different loop. Actually, different loops in this graph. L1, L1 is the first loop. What is the gain of this L1? G2 times H2. L2, G3 times H3. L3, G6 times H6. And the last one, L4, is G7 times H7. Let's talk about the forward path. How many paths we have? How many forward paths actually we have? As you look at to this signal flow graph, you can find that we have two different forward paths. The first one is this path, as you see here, G1, G2, G3, and G4. G1, G2, G3, and G4 for path 1. And the second path is it starts from here G5, G6, G7, G8, and we reach to the output. Okay? We have two different forward paths, four different loops. Now, we should calculate, actually we can calculate the determinant of a system using this information. Now, 1 minus sum of all different loops. How many loops do we have? 4 loops we have. So, using L1, L2, and L3 and L4 and adding all of them we can calculate the first term of the uh, determinant. What was the second term of the determinant? Actually we said that sum of product of two non-touching loops. As you see in the signal flow graph, we can find that L1 and L2 are not non-touching with together. Why? Because they have a common node. Okay? And uh, in the same form, L3 and L4 cannot be non-touching loops because they have a common node. Okay? So, but L1 and L4, L1 and L3, L2 and L3, L2 and L4 are non-touching with together because they don't have any common load. Okay, so we can uh, write that L1 times L3 plus L1 times L4 plus L2 times L3 plus L2 times L4 as a second term of determinant.
Okay? For the third term, we said that sum of product of three non-touching loops. Do we have any three non-touching loops here? No. You cannot find any three non-touching, any three loops that are non-touching with together in this signal flow graph. So uh, we don't need to write anything. The delta of this system uh, will be calculated using these terms. Okay? We have L1, L2, L3, L4, the gain of each, each loops, with substituting these terms into the determinant, we can calculate the value of the determinant. Okay, what about the delta 1? The delta for first forward pass. Okay, the meaning of delta 1 is the determinant of first forward pass. We said that this pass is the first forward pass. Okay, so because L1 and L2 includes this forward, first forward pass, so we said that we suppose that L1 and L2 is zero. Okay, we have only write the L3 and L4 for the delta 1. So we can say that 1 minus L3 plus L4. Okay? Actually we omit all of the brains and loops of the first forward pass when we are calculating the delta 1. Okay? So as you see here, again, we don't have any two non-touching loops. So we don't need to write anything uh, for delta 1. Similarly, for delta 2, okay, we suppose that all of the loops through this pass is equal to or equal to the zero so l3 and l4 will be equal to zero only we will have l1 and l2 okay and again we don't have any non touching loops so our delta 2 will be 1 minus L1 plus L2. Okay. Our Mason formula is like that. P1 delta 1 plus P2 delta 2 divided by delta. We could find all of the value of all of these terms. Okay. With substituting... These, the value of these terms into this formula, you can find the transfer function of this system using Mason formula and signal flow graph. Okay? As an assignment, actually, uh, you can draw the signal flow graph of this system and calculate the transfer function of this system as a, using Mason formula. Okay, I think it's enough for today. Thank you. Goodbye.